Hi guys, today we'll, we will discuss about the request life cycle in a Laravel application. So if you are working in a Laravel application, then uh, you need to understand uh, what happens whenever the request comes to the Laravel application. So, okay, let's understand it uh, through this image. Okay, so whenever the user make the request to the Laravel application, it will uh, come at the index.php in a public folder. Okay. <clears throat> this one. Sorry. This one. And it auto loads all the, uh, it loads a composer and loads a vendor folder. Okay. After that, uh, it requests for the application instance, also called the service container. From the bootstrap app.php file. Okay. The service container, the main job of the service container is to resolve the dependencies, all the runtime dependencies uh, for the classes which have been um, injected uh, into the constructor or the methods in the different controllers. Okay. After that, this instance called the uh, HTTP kernel. Uh, Basically, it uh, uh, calls a kernel. There, there are uh, two different types of kernel in Laravel. The first one is the HTTP. Uh, first one is a console kernel, and the second one is a HTTP kernel. So, depending on the request, it calls that kernel uh, because it is a HTTP request. Then, so it is called the. Uh, it calls the HTTP kernel. Okay, then HTTP kernel loads the service provider. There are lots of service provider in the application through the register method. Every service provider has a boot method through which service provider uh, collect all the dependencies and initiate itself. So uh, if you uh, talk about the service provider, the service providers are the main features of the application or you can say main classes of the Laravel okay like core classes like uh, database queue system file system queue uh, blog etc root okay so after the registering the the service provider it forwards the request to the middlewares different middlewares the middlewares uh, for example like uh, auth middleware okay it middleware uh, filter out this request uh, if you have uh, you can have the also custom middlewares in your application like uh, auth middleware it checks the user uh, user credential and authenticate the user to further uh, procedure okay if it is not then it returns uh, the unauthorized uh, as such and then it returns the response to the user and if it is uh, and if user has the permission or uh, any kind of filter you have then it forwards to the controller and root closer so as you know that uh, we can return the response from the root closer or the controller action okay so uh, uh, the controller action or root closer if you, uh, requires a model intervention then it access the model and uh, with the help of the view it returns the response again to the middlewares so these middlewares are the uh, after request middleware there are two type middlewares in it in laravel application before uh, request middleware and after request middleware so the before request middleware modify the request before actually handled by the controller uh, root closer okay and uh, after middleware uh, modify the response uh, after uh, the request handle by the uh, controller root then it returns the response to the http kernel object or http kernel an HTTP kernel make the response object and send back to the index.php file 
the index.php file then using the send method like this and return the response to the user so uh, if we see guys there are the different section uh, which has its own role okay i will make uh, uh, make the detailed video of every part of it so but now for the that's all for now thank you